Okay. So in this course, so we are very clear about what we are going to learn in this course, right? So this is basically a customized course for a customized course for Power BI. And SSES tablet model and Azure Data Factory. Okay, so these are the three different components we are going to cover inside this training. So, where exactly this Power BI we are using, and where exactly this SSES tablet model we are using, and where this Azure Data Factory we are going to use. Many of the people are approached me want to learn Power BI. Alone Power BI learning may not give you a better opportunities in the job market. You should have at least one ETL tool. ETL stands for extracting the data and transforming and loading the data. The ETL tool, what you are going to learn, if you are learning inside the cloud environment, then it's well and good because going forward, everything is going to a cloud environment. Then also, a kind of cube storage model is very important for your Power BI. So that's why I picked all these three important topics and I customized this course. And you can put your resume. You can put your resume along with these three technologies with the basic SQL as well. So I don't want to teach the SQL over here. And if you want a SQL server, you can en enroll for separate course for that one, or you can do a self learning. At least basic SQL is required to learn this course. SQL server, Power BI, and SSES tabular model, Azure Data Factory. These are all the things we are going to cover. So in what way we are going to learn these things is, first we are going to start with Power BI. SQL Server, you need to learn self-learning basics. SQL basics is required. But I'm not going to write down even single SQL statement inside this course, okay? Only basics you can learn. If you want advanced SQL, we have a sessions going on in the morning. You can learn that. Okay, so I will show you the architecture where exactly this Power BI, SSES, Tabular, Azure Data Factory we are going to use. So currently the projects, the implementation of the architecture of the projects you can see. You can mute everyone. Don't unmute. If you have any questions, at the ending you can ask the questions. I have a, I will give you the 5 to 10 minutes time to learn. Or to ask the questions okay so just follow the architecture in the real time scenarios how they are following so for example they have a crm application let's say for example you can take this is a atm center this is another atm center this is another atm center from each atm centers these atm centers are located in india this is located in us this is located in UK. All right. So this is the applications designed in the ATM centers. A customer will come to ATM centers and is trying to do a transaction. Whenever he is doing the transactions, and immediately the data will come and store into the backend database. Correct? Data will come into the backend database. So that database is a SQL database. So every location we are going to maintain different databases. Every location we are going to maintain different databases. So the databases what we are using here is a inside the Microsoft Azure. We have a Azure SQL database. So that SQL database we are going to use to store the data. So this is cloud environment. So inside the cloud we will use the SQL server. We will use the SQL Server, and uh, the data will come and store into this Azure Cloud environment. 
so the data whenever the transaction happen that will come to this database this will come to this database this will come to this database this is called azure sql database azure inside the azure azure is a cloud environment azure sql database this is also azure sql database this is also azure sql database so we need we no need to worry about this designing of the applications inside this atm centers and uh, designing of the azure sql database to store the data once the transaction immediately completed data will come and store into the azure sql database so now what we are going to do whatever the data we have inside the azure sql database all the data we want to keep into one place by applying some transformation techniques that is called data warehousing that is called data warehousing so to load the data from azure sql database to all from different different database to azure sql data warehousing sql data warehousing we are going to use a tool data factory so data factory is a tool inside the cloud to perform the data loading etl that is called we are going to use say data factory so by using this data factory data factory is a etl tool inside the cloud you can load the data into azure sql data warehouse okay this is how we are doing and uh, whatever the data is coming to azure sql data warehousing then again we are going to load that data into a cube database so that ssas tabular cube database also we have inside the cloud environment the data we are taking from sql dw to this one okay so now your data is in azure sql data warehousing as well ss as tabular model so by using a power bi so power bi is the reporting tool you can use either you can connect to your ssas tabular cube from power bi or you can connect to a sql data warehousing to design the reports inside the power bi desktop so this is power bi got it so by using power bi you can connect to ssas tabular model or you can connect to sql server data warehousing to design the reports so what we are going to learn in this course we are going to learn this complete data factory how to load the data from different different locations into one particular sql data warehousing and we are going to learn azure sql uh, tabular model how to design a tabular model inside the azure data warehousing sorry azure cloud and uh, complete power bi how to design the reports by using a power bi so data will be movement from here to data warehousing from data warehousing to cube database from cube database to power bi desktop so there is a data factory there is a sql data warehousing there is a ssas tabular model so we are going to learn how to do the etl by using azure data factory how to design a cube database by using a azure ssas and how to design the reports by using a power bi desktop so that is the reason in this course many of the projects are going to implement by using these services only okay so that's what we have more importance for these three services for making the a small business intelligence system by using the cloud environment all right so here if you observe i am using cloud right so i am using sql in cloud i am using etl tool in cloud i am using sql data warehousing in cloud i am using data warehouse uh, ssas tabular model in cloud instead of using cloud you can use on premises also you can install sql server in your local machine you can use ssis as a etl tool in your local machine you can use sql server data warehousing in your local machine you can design a cube database in your local machine this is on premises but currently companies are using everything the services related to this in cloud only that is microsoft azure so that's why i am implementing 
all these things inside the cloud environment instead of going to instead of going to on premises technologies ssis is from msba correct ssis is from msba i don't want to use outside of the on premises systems because those are going to outdated so in future we are not in future now also many companies are using this cloud environment that's what i am going to use most of the technologies services related to ssis etl data factory ssis in on premises we have a ssis and for this ssis model also we have a ssas tabular model in your on premises right so power bi itself it is a different tool so data factory similar ssis in on premises ssis similar we have ssis tabular on premises azure sql sql db we have sql server in on premises so in this course we are going to cover complete power bi complete ssis tabular model and complete azure data factory are we clear so as a part of this training we need to install some softwares what are all the softwares we are going to design we are going to install so basically the first thing is i am going to start with power bi how to start a reports with power bi by using power bi and by taking the data from either this ssas cube tabular model or from the sql data warehouse so later i will discuss about how to perform the data loading from source systems to sql data warehousing or the ssas tabular model okay so in this scenario to discuss about the power bi first i'm going to implement a sql data warehousing with a database and a power bi so i will take the data from sql data warehousing to design the power bi reports that is the first step we are going to do after completing the power bi then i will focus on the how to load the data into data warehousing by using etl data factory how to implement ssas tablet model. so in this training we are going to start first power bi so power bi is the first one we are going to start here and this power bi this power bi is going to take the data from your sql server data warehouse that sql server might be existing in your cloud or in your local machine so first i will show how to connect to on premises sql server and how to design the reports by using power bi desktop so to achieve this power bi you forget about data factory you forget about azure and everything just focus on power bi now once it is complete then we will focus on the data factory so just forget about these two things only focus on the power bi only focus on the power bi so what is power bi and the, what we are going to do a power bi is basically a reporting advanced visualization tool correct perfect so a power bi is a reporting and uh, analytical tool reporting and analytical tool over here so what we are going to do the power bi when we are going to use to design the reports earlier to power bi what are the tools we are using the earlier to power bi similarly we are using a excel also okay earlier to power bi we are using the excel so what the excel will do is excel is performing the same kind of things guys can you able to hear me am i audible yes yes Okay. So power bi is premium. So power bi is something equal to Excel. Okay. So power bi is something to equal to. When it is equal to Excel, it is equal to Excel when Excel contains four more components. What are those four more components? power query power pivot power 
view power max i hope many of you heard about this power query power view power view and power maps here right but but i i i haven't worked on this power query power power maps please keep in mute if you have any questions you can ask me I will dismiss from the meeting if anybody is unmuted. Okay. So this power query and power pivot, power view and power maps, whatever we are using. Kushlesh Jamur, please keep in mute. So power query is one kind of ETL tool. ETL tool extension for your Excel. ETL tool to connect data sources performing data transformations. Okay. And Power Pivot is it's a data modeling tool. Data modeling tool making relations between the tables and storing the data that is power pivot power view is power view is a tool designing visualizations power view is a designing the visualization power maps is designing map related visualization power maps is designing map visualization so so i will show you the architecture by using Excel and these four components, how simply you can design a report. In many companies still are using Excel only to design the reporting. Okay. And if they have Excel and all these four components to achieve the business intelligence reporting, why Power BI is coming to the picture from the Microsoft? Because this Excel, Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, Power Maps, all these are from Microsoft only. Then if we have this Excel and Power Query Pivot View Maps. Why Power BI introduced similar component, similar tool? Okay, I will explain you. So this is the architecture. I have already drawn that one. That is, yeah. See here. I have a data in some data in Facebook, some data in SQL Server, some data in the website. So what I'm trying to do, I want to design a reports by taking the data from Facebook SQL website. So I opened Excel. This is my Excel. And inside the Excel, I have added few installations and components. One is Power Query, another one is Power Pivot, Power View and Power Maps. What the Power Query will do? Power Query, Power Query Will establish a connection from your Excel to different sources. Connecting from Excel to different sources and extracting the data and applying some transformations and loading the data into your Power Excel. Everything will take in care by your Power Query. So Power Query is a, a tool inside the Excel connecting to the data sources and uh, keeping the data into uh, and performing some transformations that means the data what we are taking from the source systems it may not be in a clean format and the data is not ready for reporting to the business users then what you need to do 
before you are going to load the data into your Excel, you have to clean up this data. So those kind of cleaning and transformation techniques you have to take in care by using the ETL that is Power Query. Power Query is a ETL tool loading of the data into Excel. Okay, so I did the Power Query and finally data is loaded. This is one table. This is another table. This is another table. This is another table. This is another table. And making the relationships between all these tables, making the relationships between all the tables, and storing the data inside this Excel, that will be taken care by Power Pivot. So Power Pivot is a data modeling tool, making the relationships between the tables. Power Query is a ETL tool, connecting to the different data sources and performing the ETL. ETL stands for extracting the data from different sources, applying some transformations, and loading the data into your SQL Server. Sorry, your Excel or whatever. So, Power Pivot is after loading the data, making the relationships between the tables, and storing the data in a compressed format. What do you mean by compressed format? Compressed format means what will happen when you are loading the data into Excel? When you are loading the data into Excel, for example, 1 GB data you have taken from your source. 1 GB is compressed to compress, compressed to 100 MB. Means one tenth of the data will be saved over here. And also whatever the data you are loading right it will store in the ram memory nothing but in memory there are two kind of memories in your computer one is a rom another one is ram rom is more relying on your hard disk ram is mostly we have 4 gb 8 gb 16 gb something like that The compressing of the data while it is importing and storing into RAM, everything is taken care by the back end. There is a engine. What is the engine name? X velocity verti pack engine. The X velocity verti pack engine will compress your data. The X velocity verti pack engine. Will store your data in your RAM. Okay, so once the data is imported and storing into your power, importing to, then you need to design the visualizations. To design the visualizations, you need to use either Power View or Power Maps. Power Maps is only specific for the maps related reports. Maps related visualizations you can take from the power maps so power view is for designing the visualizations power maps is for designing the map related visualizations so now we understand how to implement a small by using inside the excel power Call business intelligence system for power view power view power maps this is an important interview question the question is what is the difference between power query power pivot power view so you can simply explain them power query is a etl tool it is connecting before you are asking what is power query you can you can tell like this power query power pivot, power view all these three are plugins all these three are plugins inside the excel what this three will do power query is a etl tool what it will do it will connecting to the data sources from excel and performing the data transformations 
and power pivot is a data modeling tool connecting to data modeling tool it will make relationships between the tables and storing the data inside while it is storing the data it will compress the data and the data what it is storing will store in the ram not in the ram if your data is in a hard disk if you are trying to read the data it is a bit later if it is already in your memory that is a ram it's more faster so everything the compression storing of the data will taken care by x velocity verti pack engine this point is very very important while you are talking about power pivot you need to tell it's a in memory technology data will be stored ram and the data will be compressed average 1 gb data will be compressed to 100 mb okay 100 mb and uh, this will taken care by x velocity vt pack engine that is called power pivot now come to power view power maps these are the visualization tools we are designing the visuals by using power view power maps got it we design the reports then now i want to share this reports to end users business users super users to the client so i have so many client systems this is one client and the 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 client this is how i have thousands of the clients available how to share this report when i am importing the report over here file this is this excel whole memory size let's say for example 2 gb file the file size is because that that much of the data i have imported so 2 gb file data how can you share to this users how to share a excel 2 gb data file so to share either you can send a mail or you can put in a centralized location everyone will copy this file from here everyone is copying this file from here then every computer is occupying 2 gb of the data correct so how much memory you are wasting in your organization how much memory you are wasting in your organization lot of memory if we have a in one centralized location to keep this file and all the people can able to access the file it's well and good just all the clients will come to there they will view the report and they can they don't need, they don't need to copy this file to every computer so we don't have a such platform designed specifically for saving this excel reports and viewing by the end users and also if you have there if you have more data inside your excel your excel will hang correct your excel will not open sometimes so to overcome these two issues what is the first issue there is no such platform to share your report to the end users the second issue is your excel will not bear when you have a huge volume of the data to overcome these issues microsoft has introduced a new tool that is power bi so the power bi contain four different components the power bi contains four different components so power bi components so what are the different components in power bi we have power power bi desktop and the second one is power bi online cloud environment nothing but www.app.powerbi.com www.app.powerbi.com and power bi report server and the third one is power bi mobile app so four different components available 
this power bi desktop is equal to excel along with this four tools understand a power bi desktop is equal to excel along with this four components so power bi desktop includes power query power Port, power view and power maps can we see the architecture of this power bi by using these four components how power bi is it by using these four components let's go over here so this is my data source my data source is a sql server this is my power bi desktop power bi desktop i have installed on my computer so what i am doing i am going to connect to the sql server to bring the data from sql server into power bi then i have imported all the tables inside the power bi desktop then i am making the relationships between the tables then i will design the visualizations after designing the visualizations what you are doing i am going to publish my report into www.app.powerbi.com this is a website managed by microsoft it's a cloud then once you are publishing your report into www.app.powerbi.com everything will go to the microsoft control i don't want to publish my report into a third party websites so similar kind of infrastructure you can install in your organization in your servers that is nothing but a power bi report server so because of the security point of view i am going to publish my reports into power bi report server whatever the reports you published in the www.app.powerbi.com or in the power bi report server if you want to see these reports from your computer yes you can go and directly open the web browser and you can see but if you want to see those reports from the mobile you need to install a power bi mobile app so this is a power bi desktop this is a power bi online service this is a power bi report server this is a power bi mobile app by using these four components we are designing the report so over here so first what we are doing by using power bi desktop connecting to the data source and performing some etl over here then importing the tables and making the relationships nothing but we are making the data modeling then designing of the visualizations nothing but data visualization then sharing of the reports into cloud environment or in the report server so first we are performing data discovery means what is your data source identifying the data source and connecting to the data source and applying some etl extracting the data applying transformations and loading the data so that will we are covering under the data discovery part and then make shapes and storing the data we are calling it as a data modeling then designing of the visualization we are calling it as a data visualization and sharing of the reports to the end users either into the cloud or into the report server is called report sharing so when i am doing this architecture of the project and uh, every power bi project there are four phases one is data discovery phase data modeling phase data visualization phase report sharing then again we'll come back to design a new report again we will perform data discovery again we will perform data modeling again we will perform data visualization again we will perform report sharing then again come back to data discovery again again when we are going to design a new report perform data discovery modeling visualization sharing this is a recycle process every time data discovery will perform first data modeling visualization sharing so when i am doing power bi project i am dividing into four different stages data discovery stage modeling stage visualization stage sharing stage to perform all these four stages to implement power bi project what are all the tools required i need power bi desktop power bi desktop is a designer tool installed in your local computer on the windows operating system this app.powerbi.com is a website report server you can install and mobile app you can install in the mobile so to perform this power bi project out of four pages out of four pages the three phases we are doing by using power bi desktop only out of four phases of developing my power bi project 
three phases we are doing in Power BI desktop routing. Only the sharing of the reports we are doing in this three. So that's what I have explained here very clearly. See here. So Excel. By using Excel, how can we do a reporting? So Excel contains Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, and Power Max. You will design the reports, but you don't have such platform to share your reports. So that is the reason, and your Excel cannot bear more data. So by combining Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, Power Maps, similar like your Excel, there is one software developed, nothing but Power BI Desktop. So by using Power BI Desktop, it includes Query, Pivot, View, Maps. We are designing the reports. So once you are designing the reports, we are going to publish those reports either into Power BI Online Service Cloud, nothing but app at Power BI .com or Power BI Report Server. Those reports you can see by using a mobile app. So these are the four different components in the Power BI. So one component is a desktop for designing the reports. And Power BI Mobile Cloud and Power BI Report Server is whatever the reports you designed in the Power BI desktop, you can publish into these two platforms. Then to see the reports from mobile, Power BI Mobile app we are going to use. So to develop the Power BI project, we are dividing into four categories, right? Four phases. One is first phase is data discovery phase, second phase is data modeling phase, and the third phase is data visualization phase. And the fourth phase is sharing of the reports. So the data discovery, data modeling, data visualization, all these three phases we are performing only in Power BI desktop only, designing the reports. And after that, sharing the reports, we are doing in these three components. That's why I have explained here very clearly. By looking on this visualization, you can understand easily. So, till now, the overall I have explained about these three things only. One is about your Excel Power, Power Query, Power Pure, Power View, Power Maps. We're using this how to design the reports. Then, what are the different components of Power BI and the architecture flow of the Power BI project? And the life cycle of the Power BI project. Any questions so far? Hey, hi, this is Venkat. I have some questions. Uh, so actually the Microsoft recently they released one product right uh, Azure uh, data warehouse or nothing but Azure Synapse uh, Analytics Studio. Yeah, so nothing but this is also Azure uh, SQL data warehousing, right? So are you going to teach uh, yeah. that kind of concept? I mean the service the service So it in, it includes I power BI service, but... At least uh, yeah. but, um, In this course we are not going to cover much about the synapse analytics, but we'll use that service We'll use that service to connect power BI to design the reports so here the SQL data warehousing, whatever we have, right? Mm -hmm. Either this you can use in the cloud environment, nothing but Synopsy, or you can use in your local machine SQL also. Okay, but I mean, what kind of data format you are using? Either JSON or uh, big data uh, format, what kind of format you are using here? So this data is just normal star, snowflake schema, dimensional modeling data only. Okay, so I mean. Tables and Okay, in data factory, so you are storing all the data in, I mean, data in the format of JSON. Data factory, I'm performing this ETL. I can take data from some SQL, I can take data from some files, okay, from okay. the blog storage, and take the data from on premises SQL to uh, data factory to upload into cloud. So, all these kind of scenarios we will discuss. Okay, and the last question, one more question here. So you're saying data factory, right? So there is one more term, data lake. I don't, I don't know what is the difference, data factory and data lake. Is it both are same or something? Data factory is a ETL tool. Data lake is a big data storage system. Okay. Okay. Like Hadoop. Hadoop yeah, Hadoop. Data. data lake is Hadoop big data. ETL is uh, as data factory is ETL to like informatica as a size. Okay. For SS so, tabular model, so do we need any kind of before experience? System. 
Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm just I'm asking any prior experiences required because I never work on tablet models. I'm going to teach from scratch. No worries. Okay. Okay. And the remain in the Power BI. So are you going to in depth of DAX DAX functions, DAX? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay, thanks. So life cycle includes the two interview questions to be okay. So the interview question today is what is the difference between power query power pivot power view power maps and what are the different kind of components in power bi and the architecture life cycle of your power bi project so what i'm so from tomorrow i'm going to i'm going to change the meeting link whoever wants to continue this course 